Well, this is a case study of a female aged 17 years with the history of PUO for the last one month for her very first ultrasound. This is the gallbladder, this is the liver, this is the right kidney, this is the diaphragm, and this is the ascitic fluid in the Morrison's pouch. I'm going to magnify to show you the liver is toxic because uh, the minor portal vein radicals stand prominent. The outer surface of the liver, if you see, is smooth. This is the ligament aminosum, corded low by IVC, and note the prominence of the uh, minor portal vein radicals, indicating thereby that the ecogenicity of the liver has gone down significantly and is diffusely decreased. So this is a, not a serotic level, rather a toxic level. You can see the minor and the uh, gallbladder wall appears thick because of the fluid surrounding it, otherwise the gallbladder is normal. Now this is the kidney, right kidney is okay. This, this is the right kidney which is normal, this is the liver, this is the fluid in the hepatorenal angle, this is the portal vein, this is the portal vein, this one. There is no focal vein seen relating to the uh, liver and there is no pleural effusion as well. See, this is the diaphragm, and the no fluid is seen above it. There is no evidence of periotic plan adenopathy, as this is the aorta, this is the superior military artery, this is the celiac artery arising from it. This is the pancreas. This is the pancreas. Now, this is the spleen, this is the spleen, measuring 10.3, it's with a normal limit, this is the splenic vein, and this is the part of the left hemidendrum, no fluid seen above it. No evidence of pleural effusion. The left kidney is normal. Okay, now you see this is the fluid in the Morrison's pouch. This is the ileocecal, I'm uh, sorry, uh, ileosource muscle. They are the bowel, and this is the fluid in the left ileocecal. Uh, Paracolligator. Now this is fluid in the left, uh, right paracolligator, and you can see the bowel within it. This is the right ileosomous muscle, this strap of it. This is the fluid in the right paracolligator, these are the bowels. Now coming down in the pelvic cavity, this is the left ovary. This is the left ovary with developing follicles in it. This is the uterus. No focal lesion seen normal. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. This is the ascitic fluid. These are the bowels floating in it. And there is a complete septa seen dancing within the ascitic fluid. A bright, shiny, thin line front of the screen is the, you see if you note the movement of this thread like structure within the ascitic fluid, this is a septa and see the movement of it, see how it's the moving, flapping, flappy movement and it, it is a thin and complete uh, septa, presently only this one is seen, so 
receptor is seen in the fluid and this is uh, a case of bisonographic hearing parameter uh, that of uh, tuberculous ascites or Cox infection. Okay, thank you.